So a few days ago, I posted a video talking about the top stocks that I'm going to be buying in the month of February, and SG Blocks was not one of them. So in this video, I'm going to talk about why SG Blocks was not a part of my list, the recent news that has come out for this company, and whether or not I think SG Blocks is still a buy even at these current prices. All right, so the first reason why I did not mention SG Blocks as one of the stocks to buy in the month of February is because every one of the stocks that I mentioned in that video has dropped more than SG Blocks over the past few months. Even though SG Blocks has fallen over 30%, we saw some of the stocks go down over 60% in the last couple of months. Now, some people would say, well, SG Blocks is at silly prices. And I honestly would agree with that. But the difference is the valuations within the different sectors. You see, when we value different companies, I think a lot of people can see that growth stocks are not valued the same as value stocks or dividend stocks. But we also value sectors differently as well. For example, a hardware growth company is not gonna have the same valuation as a software growth company, even if they were to have the same growth rate. Unfortunately for SG Blocks, the construction sector simply doesn't have strong valuations like what you would see in other sectors such as the software companies like Square or Adobe. With that being said, I still think SG Blocks is undervalued. But when we compare it to the other stocks that I mentioned in the previous video, they could have greater upside. The second major reason why I didn't put SG Blocks as a stock to buy in the month of February is because I already have a full position. Personally, I've been building this position for over a year now, and I feel like I'm in a place where I don't wanna add any more shares right now because I would lose diversification. And because of the fact that the stocks that I've mentioned have dropped significantly more than SG Blocks, this company has become a third of my portfolio. Honestly, I would prefer to be max somewhere around 25% when it comes to any company I'm investing in. Now, one thing that I will consider is that if the stocks that I mentioned before go up in the share price and SG Blocks remains the same, then I will definitely be looking into adding more. But I am confident with my current position. And so I wanna focus more on building my position in Palantir and topping off the rest of the companies that I'm investing in. So I hope that clarifies some things as to where I stand when it comes to this company. But now I wanna share my thoughts on the recent news that has come out over the past few weeks. On January 11th, SG Echo intends to fulfill a design build contract of 150 units with plans to roll out these glamping style units across the country. Now I don't know about you, but I had to look up what glamping means because I had no clue. But if you have gone glamping before, I would love to hear your experience in the comments down below. But if you haven't heard of glamping before, I believe that Merriam-Webster has given us a much better definition than what Wikipedia could ever give us. Sorry, Wikipedia. Glamping is outdoor camping with amenities and comforts such as beds, electricity, and access to indoor plumbing. So overall, I would have to say that this is an extremely exciting contract for SG Blocks, especially because according to Grandview Research, the glamping market size is expected to reach $5.41 billion by 2028. That is a CAGR or compound annual growth rate of 14%. If they execute on this contract, it will show that the company is able to execute on their upcoming contracts. Now here is something that we need to watch out for when it comes to this contract. If you notice, it does say the word intends. So we really don't know if they will fulfill this contract. Nonetheless, this is still good news because the amount of exposure that SG Blocks is getting has been slowly increasing over the past year. So with all that said, I wanna go back to the basics of this company as a reminder as to why we got in this company to begin with. In terms of recent contracts, here's what we have. First two months ago, SG Echo was selected as the manufacturer for a United States military sensitive compartmented information facility. Now we haven't gotten an update on this contract, so we don't have a lot of information on it. But I think that this news alone shows SG Block's potential to expand to a variety of different sectors. I love that this company has multiple verticals ranging from residential real estate to medical facilities and now this. And I truly believe that there's plenty of opportunity for SG Blocks in the United States military to form new contracts moving forward. But even if it doesn't happen, the company still has plenty of other contracts that they really need to focus on over the next couple of years. But in this specific contract, SG Echo will be building a prefabricated facility for a government entity. And this contract is expected to be completed in the first quarter of 2022. So one quick thing that I wanna know is that we will not see the revenues for this contract in this upcoming conference call. They may talk about this contract, but the revenue generated won't be until the following quarter. Nonetheless, this is great news because a lot of their larger contracts are going to be more in the back half of 2022 and the start of 2023. So this company is showing that they will be able to sustain themselves until the larger projects come to fruition. Another thing is that in this article, SG Block says that they are aiming to make current and future manufacturing space for military and federal contracts as well as any projects associated from the recently passed infrastructure bill. This is important in my opinion because they're trying to take advantage of the money that is still being put into this economy. And with it being the start of the new year, a lot of companies will have more money to be able to use for new contracts. 
The last piece of news that I want to remind us of is their new advisory board. Like I said previously, SG Blocks has so many different verticals. So you need to have a diverse board who are experienced in all these different verticals. The members of this advisory board are industry leaders in real estate, hospitality, and manufacturing. So this will definitely help keep the management team accountable with their variety of verticals. Now, one thing that I do want to mention is these new projects are nice, but they already have some major projects that they need to focus on. And so the timing of this advisory board, in my opinion, is an important important move for this company. Now, when we look at their pipeline, they have over 2000 units with over $450 million in potential revenue over the next five years. That would be an average of $90 million a year. Now, of course, it's not like SG Box is gonna have $90 million this year in revenue, but when you consider the fact that the company is valued right now at about $20 million, it really starts to put into perspective how undervalued this company truly is. SG Blocks just needs to prove that they can execute on these contracts. And one thing that I've liked about this company recently is that they have kept us updated as much as possible over Twitter and Instagram. I firmly believe that it's only a matter of time before funds start to see the potential of this company and the reality that modular constructions are here to stay. So do I think that SG Blocks is a buy right now? Absolutely. But as I said in the beginning of this video, I already have a big position and I don't want to add too many more shares in order to keep my diversification. If I were in a scenario where I didn't have a full position, then it would be a completely different story and I would be adding right now. So what I'm doing is if the other companies continue to grow rapidly over the next few months while SG Blocks remains the same, then I will be adding to my position. Other than that, I'm perfectly fine holding my shares unless we see significant news one way or the other. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you don't mind, would you consider destroying that like button that helps this channel immensely as well as comment down below your thoughts on my strategy when it comes to SG Blocks. Would love to hear your thoughts on that. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button down below. That way you are notified when new content comes out. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and we'll see you in the next one.